Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of the Saints Magic Powers on So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Don't make me cry today, okay? I cried just minutes ago <laughs> about Jedon. Please don't make me cry on this damn episode. Of course. <laughs> sure. It's not supposed to rain still. That hasn't even rained yet, did it? No, it kind of rained. I'm gonna check my phone real quick. Let's see. Because it's supposed to rain today. No. <laughs> it's supposed to rain in 24 minutes. Because <laughs> it was supposed to be a really bad storm today, but. Thank God it hasn't rained that bad yet because I still need to edit this and um, jut on and do my last show for the day and then do one extra thing, but that will be set for tomorrow, even though I want to kind of get it done tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See, something also tells me that the reason why Yuri wants to study her is because, I mean, yes, yeah, Sai is very kind of OP. But I think he wants to see how OP she is. I mean, she ain't like OP like um Anno's bodyguard <laughs> or any of my other husbandos. But she she does have powers. Anything? <laughs> oh, 
god. Uh-huh. It's possible. Mm, yeah, tired as fuck now. Seriously? Oh my god! I just need to say it on the kiss, damn it. Like, oh my god, please. If not now, by the end of this series, like, oh my god, the tension between them, it's there. I just need it to happen.
Yeah. Well, yeah, we already knew that, though. God, his eyelashes are so pretty. You wouldn't think like a grayish blue would just like work with him, but like, oh. It could just be because you're not attracted to him like that. <laughs> you like hogs! <laughs> I mean, because honestly, I think we can all agree that, like, Commander Hawks and his brother Albert are the two hottest guys in this show. I mean, well, really, there are a lot of hot guys in this show, and so you just, you gotta be, oh my god, her hair. But you gotta be happy for her, because she is getting, like, a lot of attention. <laughs> you're just like, you wish that was you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh well now we put the title card in <laughs> for the episode oh <laughs> okay <laughs> oh god I can't imagine putting one of those on like oh my god I mean <laughs> that just seems like a pain wouldn't it be better for her to like at least dance with someone instead of herself This is so fucking romantic, I can't, like, oh my god! I can't.
I wonder if what um Elizabeth might be able to go. Maybe just to get to know you as well. <gasps> Elizabeth! So you're the one who's engaged to go? No, but... Uh... Okay. Mm-hmm. 
It's completely different there than it is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz, you don't have to apologize. It wasn't your fault. It's all his fault. He's an ass. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this was a cute episode oh my god but seriously the dance the dance and the fact that he asked her like if he was going to any of the freaking like, <laughs> like any of the balls or anything that he would love to take her I, I can't with these two once again this is episode six, for Christ's sake, and I cannot wait to see, like, and I hope and pray that we get an episode where she does go to a freaking ball, and he is her date, and we get to see these two on another date, because technically, we've kind of really seen them on two dates, kind of technically really still one, because their first date was literally the best date. I mean, come on, like, that was so fucking cute, but then their second date was just, like, you know, it was strictly business. They didn't kind of really have time for each other and to hang out and everything, because it was a business-oriented um, date, so I hope that their next date is better than their first because their first like their first is just like that typical like you know when you're dating someone the first time and you're like oh let's go meet at like a coffee shop and go walk around somewhere or um let's go to like Barnes and Noble or some shit and just hang out there for a couple of hours but it was cute like oh my god seeing these two dance was so freaking romantic like I can't girl is living my life like oh god interlude Okay, so if this next episode seems, because it is called Interlude, would that be a recap episode then? I mean, it would make sense for them to recap the first six episodes, because I'm guessing they're probably going to do something, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but, um, of course we're gonna wait until next Tuesday to see what it really truly is, but if it's not a recap episode... Whatever, whatever it'll be, it'll be fine. I love the fact that Liz, you know, wanted to apologize on the behalf of her fiancé and everything. But still, it's not her fault that um, her fiancé is, is an a-hole. I mean, yeah, he a hot a-hole, but he's still an a-hole. Now, <laughs> Yuri. <laughs> Yuri, I, I love him so much, but still at the same time, especially with some of the moments in this episode, he was very highly suspicious to me. I don't think he's going to betray Say or anything, but who knows? You know, sometimes you just gotta trust your instincts and yourself in this moment because he seems highly suspicious to me, and I'm like, what you doing over there? Mm. But, <laughs> but it was a really damn good episode. Seriously, like, just seeing these two Hawks and Say see each other for the first time in a while, and he just, like, caresses her face and then takes her hair and, like, pushes it behind her ear. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna kiss her. You're finally gonna kiss her. Like, you both are realizing your feelings for each other. And you're both gonna kiss. No. Then he comes in while she's practicing. And it just, oh, my God. Like, it, you know, 
It had to be done. It, it, it's gonna happen. By the end of this damn series, they are going to kiss. And it's going to be the best day of my life. Because I'm going to be oh so happy. Hell, I might even cry. Thank you for not making me cry today. After literally crying a little bit during Judon. Because Judon, like, Jesus Christ. But, oh my god, that was so freaking romantic. Like, I don't know if I'm the only girl who wants this. Or maybe even, um... Because I am not only speaking to girls, I'm also speaking to guys who are for the other team as well. I mean, wouldn't you want to be in a really cute outfit and just, like, dance, do a waltz with a guy or something? And just, like, oh my god, that is a dream. And I, and that's always because of freaking damn, like, Disney princess movies or, like, any type of princess movie in general and such. Because I've always looked like that. <laughs> such I mean that's a dream but then you know the best time that you could possibly get that in your life or um if you are not in a high society is when you are at your wedding and you have that chance to dance with you know your soulmate your marriage partner and everything and I think that's gonna be like the best day of my life and I honestly cannot wait until we get there but <laughs> But, like, honestly, like, oh, seeing those two dance, like, I'm like, that's like, just kiss, just kiss already. Like, damn it. Like, please, please give it to me. Please. That's all I freaking want. But other than that, guys, that is very active view towards episode six of the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode seven. Bye, guys.